talk about leadership. When our country was at risk of separation, I helped bring clarity to the unity debate. I fought hard for a united Canada, even though many people said, don't do it, it's too risky, people won't understand it. They said it may be good policy, but it's bad politics. But I knew Canadians, including my fellow Quebecers, wanted clarity instead of confusion. And more importantly, I was, and I am convinced, that good policy makes for good politics. And this is precisely why I entered politics, to govern based on what is the right choice for Canada, not what is politically expedient. And it is why I want to be Prime Minister of this great country. politics to help Canada stay united, and now I want to become Prime Minister to make that united Canada richer, fairer, and greener. And my approach, and my approach, my approach will remain the same. Good policies will make for good politics. I'm convinced that far too many political elites underestimate Canadians. But the Conservatives may have reached a new low in believing that the cartoon oil spot is the best way to communicate their message. We all know that these Conservative attack ads are a lie. They say that we will tax at the pump. We will not. They do not mention that our plan will bring in across-the-board tax cuts while their own climate change plan does not. <laughs> Can you believe it? But you believe it from them. The Conservatives do not even mention climate change in their attack ads. These attack ads are a sad joke and an insult to the intelligence of Canadians. <laughs> These attack ads say much more about Stephen Harper's style of leadership than about myself and my ideas. We must think about that. It may be the first time in history that simplistic, low-blow attack ads have been used in the crisis of climate change, the biggest ecological threat humanity is facing. Compare Stephen Harper's pattern of never-ending attacks with Californian governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, the, 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 the governor, who described climate change as the first great post-partisan political issue. Or compare Stephen Harper with the new Australian Prime Minister, Kevin Rudd, who said, and I quote, well, I, I read the quote. It's a beautiful quote, and I will read it with my uh, Australian accent. Climate change should not be another political football. We must avoid the temptations of short-term politics and the usual scare campaigns. Climate change requires serious debate and a serious resolve
to act before the cost to those who follow us becomes too great. We liberals have called for this honest debate. It is never too late for Mr. Harper to change his tune and engage in this debate positively, as a prime minister should. If he does not, it will be his own loss. Because, because unlike the conservatives, we liberals believe that when you speak to the bright minds and the big hearts of our great people, Canadians will understand what needs to be done. We Canadians don't shy away from big challenges. In fact, time and time again, Canadians have been the head of their politicians. All our ideas come because in our door-to-door, -door, in our meeting with Canadians. They want us to act. They are ahead of their politicians in determining what needs to be done to move this country forward. And today is no different. I believe Canadians want a real cross-Canada plan to put the price on carbon so we can level the playing fields between all polluting practices and the clean and green options that will make Canada more competitive going forward. We will fight fear with hope. We will fight lies with facts. And we will fight Republican-style attack ads with Canadian-style courage. J'entends ce courage et j'entends votre volonté de travailler très fort tout l'été. Dans les semaines et les mois qui viennent, nous, libéraux, allons parler avec les Canadiens et nous allons les inviter à se joindre à une grande coalition qui s'élargit sans cesse. C'est une coalition non partisane qui va nous permettre d'aller au-delà des notions dépassées de droite ou de gauche. C'est une coalition qui va combler le fossé entre les générations au fur et à mesure que les générations plus âgées feront ce qu'il faut pour laisser à leurs enfants et petits-enfants une meilleure planète que celle dont ils ont hérité eux-mêmes, et que les jeunes générations s'attaqueront avec passion et ingéniosité aux défis des changements climatiques. Nous allons travailler ensemble Et ensemble, nous allons rendre le Canada plus prospère, plus juste et plus vert. We will work together, and together we will build a richer Canada, a fairer Canada, a greener Canada.